What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about bacon in the UK. I never knew this, but apparently the bacon that we eat here in the United States is different to the bacon in the UK. Who knew? Um, like most Americans, I am a big fan of bacon, so today I'm pretty interested to learn about how bacon is different in the UK. What What is the bacon like? I'm very curious. So, with that being said, let's take a look. Today we're uncovering differences between bacon in the UK and the US. Oh yes. Now, this is a difference that is immediately obvious to every British person who's ever been to America. Really? And every American who's ever been to the UK. Really? This difference is immediately noticeable? What the heck is the difference? What does UK bacon uh, look like? I'm so curious. There is no chance that traditional British bacon, like the kind served with an English Oh, bread. oh, oh, wait, here, here we go. What? What the heck? What is this? This is bacon, British bacon. It's so big. You get a lot more bang for your buck. Now this is, this looks hearty. Is this, uh, I assume it's still made of, out of like pork and whatnot. Um, what on earth? Is it just we slice the bacon in a different way? Or are there other differences? I'm I'm very curious now. This looks very tasty. I <laughs> if I saw this sitting out, there's no way I would have thought that this was bacon. I would have thought this was some other like meat dish that I've never heard of. Breakfast would ever pass for American bacon and the same the other way. Yeah. They are two different yeah. things. And yeah. <laughs> now we're looking at the American bacon. So for British people out there, does this bacon just look strange? Our bacon looks so like wimpy <laughs> in comparison. I feel self-conscious. Our bacon looks kind of lame. It's smaller. It's all uniform. The British bacon looks a lot more hearty and thick. And it's like, when you bite it, you know there's some bacon in your mouth. This is like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love our bacon. It's got such a distinct flavor. That's another thing. Does bacon in the UK taste completely different? I have so many questions. This video is not to decide which one is better, but to figure out how they're okay. different and why. Okay, okay. Now the first difference is really just based on what you can see in the photos. British bacon is often in bigger pieces than American yeah. bacon, which is usually cut into strips. You can get streaky bacon in the UK, cut into strips similar to American bacon. So that that is like the most noticeable difference that the, the bacon in the UK is huge. It's cut differently. Um, a lot of people in the United States, we like our bacon cooked very thoroughly. Some people even like their bacon kind of crispy. The bacon I saw here, the, the UK bacon, seemed to be not as thoroughly cooked. I don't know if that's like a preference or something, but there's quite a few visual differences going on here. I, I actually really like how the, the British bacon looks, actually. But even this bacon is different in a few ways to American bacon, okay. which we'll go over in a minute, and I already uh. can tell that I'll be saying bacon far too many times <laughs> in this video. Now, the biggest difference really is that British bacon is back bacon. It's cut from the oh. loin of the pig like a pork tenderloin. Oh, oh, I was wondering about this. We are really... <laughs> We are really going to deep dive into bacon today. Hold on to your pork loin, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Um, the bacon in the UK is cut from the pig's back, the loin. I'm, I'm not sure where American bacon is cut from. I want to say like the underside or belly of the pig, maybe. American bacon, however, comes from the pork belly. Mm. So American bacon has a lot more fat than the leaner cut of British bacon. Oh, that is so interesting. <laughs> the ba this bacon <laughs> video is so interesting, but honestly, it is. So that means, you know, different cuts of meat from different parts of the animal can taste drastically different 
and have a whole different texture. So, wow. So bacon in the UK is probably a totally different experience. I was thinking maybe, maybe it tastes like our American bacon. It's just bigger. But now, now I think it must taste quite different. Side note, Americans actually call our version of British bacon Canadian bacon, and we do <laughs> use it in a few dishes, like with Eggs Benedict. However, that, to I mean, that's true. There, I mean, <laughs> that's funny that she brings this up, because we do have this term, Canadian bacon. I've never even had any. I've heard this term. It's not popular, like, to be honest, in the United States. Most people... Americans like don't even know what Canadian bacon is. I don't know why we call it that. Maybe we should call it British bacon. I had no idea there was any relationship, but th that is a thing. Canadian bacon. I forgot about that. Um, I had no idea it was actually what is more like British bacon. Okay. Typically, when Americans are referring to bacon, they're talking about this kind of bacon. Yes. So British bacon is going to have some chew to it. You can cut oh. it up with a fork and knife usually, and sometimes if it's not cooked um, for a long time, it can be, for lack of a better word, I would describe it as like floppy. It's got a <laughs> floppy. So there are some huge differences already. The UK bacon is chewy. Is it supposed to be chewy? That's interesting because in America, most people, we want our bacon crispy. And I think because it's thinner, uh, it gets crispier. And that's like kind of the sign of a good bacon. Uh, people have their personal preferences, but yeah, the UK bacon is chewy. And what else? For lack of a better word, I would describe it as like floppy. <laughs> it's got a lot more actual meat on it, though, rather than the mostly just like fat strips of... It's got more meat, less fat. It's floppier. <laughs> How do you like that? Your UK bacon has more floppiness to it. <laughs> That's not something I thought I'd be saying here today. She actually said that you can eat British bacon with a fork and knife. That is not how you eat American bacon. You would be extremely weird if you ate American bacon with a fork and knife. Nobody does that. Bacon is classically a uh, finger food. You pick it up, like, you pick it up and eat it like out of your hands. Uh, that's how everyone does it. And that's, so that's also a huge difference. If that's true, do you, do British people eat their bacon with like a fork and knife like properly because uh, that's also huge huge difference american bacon american bacon is almost always cooked until crispy mm -hmm. so much so that you can usually snap it in half yeah some people prefer extra crispy which essentially means it will shatter into a million pieces <laughs> the second that you bite into it yeah you'll see a lot of complaints about this from the brits saying huh. things like what? meat shouldn't be crunchy what and the bacon in the u.s is grim just vile grim <laughs> Our bacon is vile. How could you? Um, from what I can tell, our bacon is just very different. More different than I ever imagined going into this video. They're almost opposite. British bacon is like hearty, meaty, chewy, big. American bacon is like very thin, brittle, crispy. Um, they're cut from different parts of the animal. We eat with our hands. You guys eat like civilized humans with fork and knife. <laughs> they couldn't be more opposite. <laughs> but the criticism also goes the other way with Americans saying things like most Americans are disappointed by British style bacon. And also really? English bacon isn't what we would consider bacon. It's, I mean, clearly British bacon is not what I think of as bacon. That doesn't mean it's not bacon. It's just different bacon. Um, any American would be totally confused by this British bacon if we saw it on a table. Like, none of us would even know what it is. <laughs> like, now that I've seen a picture of it, I can, I, I feel like I have some knowledge. I could actually identify it, but uh, I would have had no clue what British bacon was. I would never have thought that was a bacon. 
And actually, they're not technically wrong. The USDA, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, in all of their infinite bacon power, mm -hmm. has declared that the word bacon in the USA only refers to the cured belly of a swine. Oh. If the bacon is made from other parts of a pig, oh. it has to be labeled like that, such as pork shoulder bacon. But something to just be called bacon on the packaging, um, you're always going to be getting pork belly by default. No kidding. So in the United States, you can't even you can't even label British bacon as just bacon. You have to specify that it's cut from the back of the pig. Only our version of bacon can be called bacon in the United States by law. <laughs> that's funny, actually. I wonder if that's also true uh, in the UK as well. The reverse. You can find back bacon in the U.S but technically mm -hmm. it is not considered bacon. Now let's wow. go back to why I wow. think there's still a slight difference between the streaky bacon you get in the UK and American bacon. Technically, these do come from the same cut of the pig, but I have noticed, and this post backs me up on this, that there is still a difference in texture between streaky bacon in the UK and American bacon. Okay, so if I understand what she is saying, there's something in the UK called streaky bacon, and that is sort of similar to American bacon, but technically they are different. We are, re <laughs> we are really getting into the fine detail, really into the weeds now. <laughs> this person found that in the US, there's a lot of extra fat and grease left over from the cooking process, yes. which doesn't happen as much with UK streaky bacon. Oh. I am not a bacon expert. I'm just trying to learn alongside all of you and share what <laughs> I found, but some possible reasons why they're still a little bit different could have to do with the fact that the breed of pigs used in each country oh, can make a pretty big difference. Interesting. As well as our next topic. Interesting. So there's something in the UK called bacon, and then there's something called streaky bacon. Is streaky bacon popular in the UK? Or is that like Canadian bacon here in America where it's like no one even... <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I heard that word let alone see, I, I don't think I've ever seen it. Yeah, I've never seen it <laughs> because then I would have known uh, what that picture was. I would have been like, oh, Canadian bacon. I've, I've heard that word. I guess there's some Americans out there who eat Canadian bacon, which is basically British bacon. Maybe there's Brits out there who eat streaky bacon, which is kind of like American bacon, except less fatty. She also said that uh, a lot of British people don't like the taste of American bacon if you ever get the opportunity to try it. Um, American bacon certainly has a very powerful flavor that all of us Americans love, and <laughs> you grow up eating it, and I guess you get, get used to it. I'd be so curious about what the taste of British bacon is like, because it really looks so different. Um... Sometimes I don't even think of our American bacon as, like, meat. Like, it's not like any other meat, like chicken or beef or whatever. It is so different. It's so crispy and such a weird flavor, and <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Which is another major difference is the flavor of the bacon. Yes, okay. It doesn't just come from the different cuts of the meat. But in the U.S., bacon is, um, by default, always smoked, usually with okay. hickory wood, though sometimes apple wood. Okay, um, but okay. in the U.K., this isn't necessarily the default, though you can buy smoked bacon. Interesting. Um, and so this is going to affect the flavor as well. Interesting. So the fl apparently the flavors are very different between our two bacons. I think that's actually kind of cool. Um, I'd be real fascinated to, to learn about <laughs> what British bacon tastes like. It, it looks like a cut of tender meat. It looks very good, but it's just so different from our bacon. Um, apparently our bacon is smoked and British bacon is not. Okay. Now let's talk about how we eat bacon. Because of okay. the different cuts of bacon, it's eaten in both countries in different ways. Sometimes. Oh. Now it's... Eaten in different ways. Is this where we're going to talk about how us savages, apparently, we eat with our hands, <laughs> the bacon, 
Uh, but it, it kind of makes sense because our bacon is really hard and crispy. When you hold it up, it stands straight up on its end. Like, it's <laughs> it's stiff. Um, and you just take bites out of it. And I don't think you could really do that with the British bacon. Mostly considered a breakfast item in both countries. Yes, okay. An important part of the classic breakfast plate, which looks like this in the UK and looks... Oh, that's what that... Oh, so this is part of, like, the full, like, English breakfast, for example. That's what that is. That stuff on the upper right. That <laughs> mound of meat. That's British bacon. Looks like this in the U.S., um, Americans definitely mm -hmm. have bacon as a side dish for breakfast. Yeah. Bacon and eggs are very popular. You might have bacon and waffles or bacon and pancakes. Uh, bacon yep. is also yep. an important part of a full English breakfast for ah, many people and it's served as a side. Okay. Then you've got the sandwich variety. In the UK, a bacon sandwich is definitely a thing, which is basically, oh. um, a piece of bacon in between bread on a roll or bun to a bacon sandwich. <laughs> that sounds like such a such a thing that would be popular in America. Americans, you'd think, would love the idea of a bacon sandwich. But bacon is such an intense flavor. Like, even for us Americans, our bacon, you only take small bites out of it. It's a very, very strong flavor. There's no bacon sandwiches. That is so funny. That must mean that bacon in the UK just has a more mellow flavor it's not so overpowering like our bacon because you could not take a bite of a ba american bacon sandwich that would almost be kind of disgusting this looks good this this actually it, it's such a different kind of cut of meat this actually makes sense to me how you could have a british bacon sandwich that looks good actually Typically with not much else, because it's a chewier cut of meat and there's just more meat to it, uh -huh. it doesn't need much more within the sandwich to be classed as a full sandwich. Huh. In the U.S., if we just added our version of bacon to a sandwich, <laughs> it would be a little bit disappointing because it is so crunchy and so flat. Yeah. So we do add bacon to things like breakfast sandwiches, but we're going to add more in addition. So it's usually like a bacon. Right. So maybe this is a big difference. In America, we add bacon bits, like little flecks of bacon, which are also stiff and brittle. We sprinkle them on salads, <laughs> of course. We put the, uh, we put bacon, like, on our sandwiches. We put bacon on random stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's true of the British bacon, because the British bacon is more of, like, this tender meat that's more floppy like a proper cut of meat. Uh, so I don't think you could like cut it up into little pieces and put it in a jar and sprinkle it on things. That's so interesting. We definitely use bacon differently. Bacon, egg and cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. Or of course we would add it to something like a BLT sandwich, mm -hmm. a bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwich. So yeah, yeah. So we add bacon to sandwiches. It's never its own bacon sandwich though <laughs> both countries do have bacon within sandwiches just in slightly different ways huh. the other difference with how huh. bacon is consumed is that because american bacon is easily crumbled and cracked and broken apart we use it as a topping yeah. a lot yeah, so yeah, yeah. maybe you have macaroni and cheese with bacon on top or <laughs> baked beans off yeah yeah exactly bacon pieces bacon bits in a little jar because the bacon is so stiff it's almost like jerky or even tougher and you can sprinkle it on stuff like a proper American. <laughs> have bacon bits in them. Bacon bits are also a popular topping on a baked potato yeah. in the U.S. Yep. British bacon doesn't crumble or break apart like that, right. which explains why it's not really used in the same way when we're talking about the traditional cut of like British back bacon. That is so interesting to think about how I forgot about how much we put bacon on all sorts of random sides and foods here in America. Because it's so common, I don't even think about it anymore. But then, of course, America has to get weird and has so <laughs> many strange ways of consuming bacon in various restaurants across the U.S., <laughs> like bacon on a stick, bacon cocktails, what? bacon ice cream. No, no. I mean, these are novelties. This is a <laughs> this is not representative of, like, typical American culture. Bacon on ice cream? Like, come on. 
that would be like at a fair or something. And that'd be like a one time. Oh, I, I dare you to go get the bacon on ice cream. It's a novelty. Um, bacon on a stick. Uh, what else was there? <laughs> like bacon on a stick. Bacon cocktails. Bacon cocktail. I've never even heard of that. Bacon on a stick. I've never seen that. But I, I would eat that. <laughs> bacon ice cream. <laughs> and the infamous Wendy's Baconator. Side note, <laughs> while researching this, um, one of the people also ask questions on Google when looking up the Wendy's Baconator was, is Wendy's Baconator healthy? <laughs> I mean, hello? <laughs> I was going to say, the Wendy's Baconator is just like a sandwich. It's, it's a hamburger with two patties, cheese, and bacon. I don't even, <laughs> I, I think it's got bacon in between, uh, both of the patties, extra bacon. Yes, and it is not good for you in the best way possible. Not good for you. <laughs> oh, just look at it. Who is looking that up? Someone send them help and <laughs> like maybe a nutritionist. Now I tried to figure out which country eats more bacon, but oh. in the absence of any statistics that I could find, I can assure you that both countries do love bacon. Okay. In 2018, a study was done in the UK that shows that when asked what food people would eat happily on a daily basis, if there were no consequences, wow. bacon came in the top three along with pizza and pasta. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, isn't the number one answer to that pizza? People freaking love pizza. I don't know if British people love pizza as much as us Americans. That's what most Americans would eat if given the chance every day. Uh, bacon as well. Wow, just like raw bacon, not even on anything? I'm a little surprised by that. Similar uh, polls in the US show that bacon is the favorite food for 20% of the population wow. out of all the food. Wow. And 16% say they can't live without it, which seems a little bit of an exaggeration, but Americans aren't known for their subtlety, so there you go. Oh my gosh. I knew that bacon was popular in America. Everyone loves bacon. I don't, I wouldn't have thought that 20% of Americans say it's their favorite food. I don't have bacon all that much. Like, it's kind of a special breakfast item every now and then or at family gatherings. Um, she also said that uh, which, which country eats more bacon? I assume Americans do because there's a lot more of us population-wise. But per person, it sounds like, like both countries really love their bacon. I really enjoyed this, actually. This was great. This was by Girl Gone London, and I got to give this a like. That was fantastic. I never thought that bacon could be so darn interesting. And I definitely never knew how different bacon was between Britain and America. It is so different. We even eat it differently and use it differently and cook it differently. And it's made out of different parts of the pig and it looks different. It is so different, and that is amazing. This was so fun to learn about. I enjoyed this quite a bit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on British or American bacon. <laughs> and if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Britain and British culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.